the super kids you know those who know me know I love this word in English it's called balance if I had to choose one word it would be balance my favorite word I like education I like entertainment and as an edutainer I got to make sure this show is entertaining and of course educational these guys know about education and they're gonna make this show fun where are you guys from that nurtures dreams. Welcome to Anyang Kapchon Elementary School, where the sound of laughter never ends. This is the History Hall, where you can check out the history of Pyeongchon Elementary School. You can see the whole history of Pyeongchon at a glance. Even before school starts, the Pyeongchon Elementary Broadcasting Studio is busy with action. Every morning, some 1,600 students of Pyeongchon Elementary watch English programs together. No wonder the whole school is good at English. As well as English, there are various special activities for the students to take part in. These may just look like simple blocks, but they are great for getting creative juices flowing. There are special classes for the gifted for training and exercising the brain. It provides the much needed challenge for children with exceptional abilities. As you can see, the students of Pyeongchon Elementary always do their best. And today, they are going to do their best on Super Kids. 평천 어린 여러분, 여러분들이 선생님과 여러 학부모들은 여러분들을 믿습니다. 최선을 다해서 자랑스러운 평천 어린이의 모습을 보여주기 바랍니다. 액션 평천, 가자! Four teams to move on, those two have to have the highest scores. Now our teams will have random topics. Six possible topics that will come up. There's rectangular things, stationary store, transportation, sports day, garden, and sweet things. Sounds delicious. All right, let's move to our first team. Hi, which category would you like to get? Uh, vehicles, like... Transportation? Yeah, transportation. Okay. So, let's see the letters. What's your choice? C. Sweet things. Now, it's not transportation, but it sounds delicious. What yes. comes to mind? Uh, candy and chocolate. Candy and chocolate, awesome. Let's go to sweet things. A sweet powder you put in coffee. Sugar. A candy made from melted sugar spun into a fluffy cloud. Cotton candy. Bees make this sweet, sticky stuff. Honey. It's a cool dessert that has many flavors. Ice cream. A ring-shaped bread. Uh, donut. A purple fruit you make wine with. Mango. You get this with candles on top on your birthday. Chocolate. People share this on Valentine's Day. Chocolate. A famous Belgian cake. Uh, waffle. A big green summer fruit. Mango. A brown powder that is used to make hot chocolate. Uh, cocoa. 
A sweet yellow fruit that has a big Mango. seed inside. A purple fruit you make wine with. Grape. You get this with candles. Oh, very good. Very good. Almost got them all. Did an excellent job. Of course, the perfect score is 12, and they got close to perfection. 10 points. Very good. Let's have another team. Come on out. Wow. <laughs> Woo. First team did pretty good. Set the bar pretty high. And of course, sweet things no longer a possibility. Let's see what the next team will choose. Hi, are you excited? Yes. Okay, good. Let's see the letters. What's your choice? B. B. Sports day. Okay, now you don't seem so happy about that. Do you like sports? Yes, but. But? Uh, Not a lot. Yes. I see. Okay. Well, hopefully you will enjoy this round. Score high. Let's go to sports day. A game to see who is the fastest runner. Per parent. The winner gets this. Prize. The national anthem of Korea. Oh, pass. Your mom or dad comes to school on sports day. Parent. You wear this when you play sports. Cap. The sound of this means to start the game. Whistle. A sports day usually takes place in this season. Autumn. You wear this on your head to block sunlight. Cap. A roll of rice with vegetables inside it. Kimbap. In a relay race, runners hold this in their hands. Uh, pass. This round and colorful thing can float in the air. Balloon. This is where races and games take place. Playground. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. We're having our own kind of sports day here, a relay race of sorts, very fast, and they got a pretty good score. Eight points. Next team, come on out. Very good, very good. We have reached the halfway point, two teams down, two to go. Let's meet our third team. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel really nervous. Okay, that's natural. Oh, yes. Um, let's jump into the letters. Let's see what remains. What's your choice? Uh, e. E? Yes. Rectangular things. Okay, so what do you think of when you hear rectangular things? Uh, TV, table. Yeah. Or uh, maybe computer. You sound ready. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Korea's national flag. Taegukki. Teachers write on this Black with a piece of white chalk. You stick these on letters at the post office. Stamp. This keeps vegetables fresh. Refrigerator. You watch drama, shows, and news through this. Television. You put your books on this when you study. Desk. A type of identification for going to a foreign country. Passport. You keep pictures in this. Album. This will tell you where to go if you are lost. Do map. You need this book to study in class. Textbook. The screen that you look at when you send Monitor. an email. You must open this Four. to enter a house. Oh, yeah! Woo! Awesome job! <laughs> Rectangular things. Obviously, they did a really good job. They knew it. They had it down and a perfect score of 12. They're moving on. Let's have the next team come on out. Awesome. Fabulous. One more team to go. Let's meet them. Okay, so we've had some high scores. We had a, a perfect score, we had a 10. What score would you like? 10. 10? Okay, but then you tied the other team. So I think 11 is better. All right, let's see the letters. A. A. Stationary store, do you like to walk in the stationary store and buy stuff sometimes? Yes. Excellent, what comes to mind? Just an example of something you might see in the stationary store. Eraser and ruler. All right, you sound very ready. Good luck to your team. Let's go to the stationery store.
You use this to cut paper. Scissors. You can rub out your mistakes with this. Eraser. A colored stick used for coloring. Crayon. You can shape this into pots or dolls. Glue. You write with this in a notebook. Pencil. You need this round object to play soccer or basketball. Ball. This tool is used for drawing a circle. Compass. A book of drawing paper. Sketchbook. A kind of musical instrument. Okay. You use this to measure things. Ruler. Painters put paint on palette. This. You use this to paste paper together. Glue. You can shape this into pots or dolls. Clay. A kind of musical instrument. Yeah! <laughs> awesome. Better than 10, better than 11. They also got a perfect score, and clearly, they're moving on. Shall we do that? Let's move on to the next round. Woo! Great. There will be one person standing at the end, the school champion. That is rounds in the future. Right now, our immediate goal is to take these individuals, that's right, they're no longer teams, 20 of them, and prune them down to 10. Now, the process, of course, is a bit harsh. These guys have studied in advance a topic, and hopefully they can answer the questions. If they do so quickly, they get their little a headband and they can sit down and remain here. If not, they move on or move back. Okay, this is the topic. Heidi is a sweet little orphan girl who lives in the Alps. Life in the mountains is happy and carefree. But one day, she has to leave for the city. Homesick and unhappy, what will happen to Heidi? Let's find out more about Johanna Spirti. As a matter of fact, I am wearing my yodeling vest. It just happens to look like a, a waiter's vest. Anyway, let's have two contestants come on out. <laughs> Hi, number one, did you enjoy this story? Yes. Have you ever been to the Alps? Yes. No. No. Okay. Would you like to go someday? Yes. Okay. How about you, number 11? Did you enjoy the story? Yes. And how many times did you read the book? Two times. Excellent. Sounds like you're ready. All right, you guys, here is your question. The old man who was the church tower keeper gave Heidi an animal. What? Number 11. Kittens. You got it. That's right. Let's have two fast contestants come on out. All right, number two. So what exciting things do you like to do on the weekend? Uh, I like to watch movies. Movies, cool. Do you have like a favorite movie? Um, I like Alvin and the Super Bands. Okay, okay. Alvin! <laughs> and how about you, number 12? What do you enjoy doing in your free time on the weekend? I like to listen to music. Listen to music. Okay. Now, we will go to something very exciting. It's called a question. Get ready. Dete returned to bring Heidi to this city with number two. Frankfurt. Fantastic. Frankfurt. Very good. That is the right answer, and you are in like a junior rabbit. Got your rabbit ears. Okay, so two more. Come on out. Where was the writer of Heidi? 
Joanna Spiri from. Yes, number 13. Switzerland. Super! Yeah. Heidi's grandfather raised two of these animals. What were they? Number 14. Goat. Uh huh. Goat is right. Frankfurt, so that she could bring this. Number five. Roll. Whoop. No. Le yes, number 15. White bread. Bread is right. Number six. Clara. Wow. Very fast. What was the present that Clara's grandmother gave? Number seven. Storybook. Yeah, book. That's right. <clears throat> Heidi climbed to the top of this tower to see over the whole village. Number church. <laughs> Number. Good job, eighteen. Okay, nineteen and nine. Come on out. So number nine, what do you enjoy doing with mom and dad in the autumn? Autumn, huh? I enjoy going somewhere with them, as such as, uh, you know, Jiri, Mount Jiri. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, how about you, 19? What's your answer? Same question. Uh, we enjoy to watch movie. Watching movies. It does get a bit chilly sometimes, but it's great weather for going up mountains or even watching a movie. Okay, enjoy this. In this city of Switzerland, there is a village called Dorfli where Heidi lived. What? Number 19. My Ampelt. Oh, my Ampelt. Yeah. Very good, very good. Yes, not an easy one, but you got it. And we have almost got all of our 10. Remember, we're going from 20 to 10. So, last two contestants. Make your way to the front. Number 10, do you have a favorite class? Yes. What is it? Math. Math, and how about you, number 20? Science. Math and science. I don't know if this question's related to math or science, but good luck to you. This person did not throw away the straw hat that Heidi had in her closet and gave it back to her. Who was he? Very kind to Heidi, the male servant. Who was this guy, number 20? Sebastian. That's right, Sebastian! You got it. <laughs> yes, Sebastian is correct. Okay, so we did it from 20 to 10, excellent. So before these 10, go on and prove themselves in battle, we will have the 30 remaining students have a chance to join them. We'll give the chance to four of them in the help section. Let's go! Every single one of you, but only four can move on. That's the way it works. That's the way it works. And of course, uh, if you don't know how it works, I can help too, from Jisoo. Hi, Isaac. Hi, everybody. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's getting really cold out there. Now, unfortunately, I can't help save you from the cold. But what I can do is help four of you guys make it to the next round. Now, for this question, think about the name of a country. The last country I visited was the United States. Are you guys ready? This country is located in Western Asia and its culture has a unique blend of Eastern and Western tradition. 
It is also famous for kebab. What country is it? Five, four, three, two, one. Raise the boards. I see lots of good answers. I see Russia and China and Turkey and Mexico. Okay, India as well. The correct answer is Turkey. Keep the boards up. Keep them up. Keep them up. Now I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. Now sometimes I snack a lot, but try not to snack too much so you guys can enjoy your meals. Now here's the question: This long bread enjoyed by the French has very crispy crust. But it's soft inside. What is this bread called? You may know it, but spelling's important. Oh yes, we count spelling here. The French like it. It's a long bread. I like it too. Put different things in it, from sandwiches to cheese, whatever. Spell it correctly. Five, four. Three, two, one. Raise the boards. Keep them up. Keep them up. I see some interesting answers. Keep them up. The correct answer is B A G. Keep them up. Keep them up. Keep them up. Keep them up. Correct spelling: B A G U E T T E. Maybe some of you guys are called human calculators, and that will help you because this is a math question. Get ready to take down some notes as I read the question. Isaac spent 590 won for a pencil and 780 won for colored paper. Then his mother gave him 1,000 won, and now he has 3,000 won. How much did he have in the first place? Okay, let me repeat slowly. Take notes, like was suggested. I spent 590, 590 for a pencil. So, that's correct. 780 for colored paper. Now my mom gave me a thousand won. Now I have three thousand. So how much did I have originally in the first place?、I'll、give you a little time. Five, four, three, two, one. Please raise those boards. All right, different answers. A lot of interesting ones. Let's go to the correct answer. Three three seven zero. Keep it up. They did it. We have four. They're moving on to join the other ten. Great job. Congratulations to you guys. Of course, you have to prove your medal in the other rounds. Now we want to say thank you to Jisoo. Now that was a tough round. Congratulations to the four of you, and good luck to everybody moving on. Remember, all of you, dress warmly. Okay? I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Okay, let's go to the next round. Good job. Good job. Have you ever had a panic attack? Your heart races, 
Sometimes you can't think clearly. Your breathing gets affected. <sighs> Panic attack. Well, sometimes that happens in this round, too. You'll hear hints. Four possible hints connected to some concept or word or idea. And if you hear one hint, you might think, okay, this is it, this is, I know it, I know it, I know it. But you might get it wrong. If you press too quickly, well, you better be ready. Because if you get it wrong, sorry, you can't move on. Only five move on. Let's go to the first question. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Clay. 3D. All right, 15 has pressed it down. Let's see if he knows. Animation. Yeah, good job, all right. Two hints were enough for you. That's right, clay, there's claymation, 3D, animation. Of course, uh, you didn't need the other hints. Japan, famous for its animation, and Walt Disney as well. Animation-related hints. Excellent job, one spot is filled. Let's go to the next question. What has to do with the following words? Sugar. Caramel. Okay, it's number 22, We're getting the mic to you. And your answer. Sweet. Mm -hmm. All right, number 39, hang on a second. Candy. Yeah, that's right, very good. Moving on up, moving on up. Of course, we started the whole program with the speed section, and there were sweet things there. Another sweet answer. You never know when they're gonna come out. Okay, it's time. Another question. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Magellan. Voyager. Mer. All right, number 11, what's your answer? Sculptor. One more hint to go. Apollo 11. Number two, what is your answer? Moon. Number 20. Spaceship. Yeah! Space pack or space jet. Very good. And you have flown to the power position there. There's one guy, one girl, one guy. <gasps> Who will be next? If it's a girl, then we have balance. My favorite word. Okay, here's the next question. What has something to do with the following words? Quehel. Austria. The Magic Flute. Amadeus. Number 30. Mozart. Mozart. Yeah, Mozart. Balance indeed. I like it. Boy, go, boy, go. Mozart. Amadeus Mozart. Rock me, Amadeus. Okay, we have one more spot to fill. One more. Good luck to you guys. Here's the question. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Winter. Sokbingo. 18, your answer is? Ice. Very good. Very good. And that final spot is filled. Of course, the uh, Sopingo was an ice storage house in the Schiller period. Learning a little history here. Excellent. Well, let's see if we can, I don't think we can cool down. It's going to get hotter and hotter because the next section, the next round is very intense. Let's go to it. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, okay, let's find a school champion. Only one person. These five will have lots of opportunities to get points. They start with 100 points because they did so good so far. Yes, 100. We want to add to that and add to that. And the person with the highest score will be standing at the end and have a chance to be a super kid. Let's meet our fabulous five. There they are, you saw their profiles. Obviously very talented, lots of potential. Let's see some of that potential come out. Here's the board. Some familiar categories, of course, 10, 20, and 30 point questions. I believe we're gonna begin with a 10 pointer. Who am I? Who am I? I have a mouth, but no teeth. I know other people's secrets. In Korea, I am usually red. Letters are my favorite food. Usually the last hint is very, very important. They're all important. But once again, add them up. You should figure it out. I have a mouth, but no teeth. I know other people's secrets. In Korea, usually red. And of course, my favorite food, letters. Letters, people send letters here and there. Of course, it seems to be like the age of the internet and a lot of email is sent. Number 20. Post box. He says post box. Yeah, post box or mailbox. Post box or mailbox. Of course, you can put your letters in there and you see off in Korea the red. Very good job, number 20. I heard that you like to ride bicycles, is that right? Yes. So just around the apartment, around the house, or where do you usually ride? Uh, I, the best ride was when I went 80 kilometers. Wow, 80 kilometers by yourself? No, with my family. With, that's excellent. Riding bicycles, staying active with the whole family. Fabulous. 10 points for you. Please choose a category. Uh, words. Okay. Going to words, 20 points. Listen carefully. What word commonly fits in all the blanks? Sand, blank. Air, blank. Pan, Blank. All right, your answer number 18. Bag. He says, bag, is that right? <laughs> yes, it is, very good. Good job. You see the sandbags, of course you can see an airbag in the car, and of course a handbag if you're a lady. Excellent job, 18. Now I heard you have a favorite movie. Yeah. What is it? Hellboy, the Golden Hell Army. Wow. How many times did you see it? Oh, uh, ten times. Ten times! I see. Do your parents know about this? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're in the lead. Very good job. Please choose a category. I would like super question. Super question for ten points. Here it is. ジュンカインドが出てるじゃん。元気200個ジョークだぜ。迷惑だけじゃん。金に興味ないの知ってるだろ。俺にくれてもいいよ。俺はお金にすごい興味あるから。あ、スーパーキズ、皆さん、こん
이 작품은 3분 가량의 아주 짧은 시간이었지만 당시에는 영화 속 거대한 화물 열차의 모습을 보고 사람들은 큰 충격을 받았다고 합니다. 자 그렇다면 세계 최초로 영화가 만들어지고 상영된 나라는 어디일까요? Number 30. France. She says France. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Number 30, number 20 went on a bike ride with his parents. 80 kilometers. What do you like to do with your family? Um, I like to play board games. Board games? Cool. So what's an example of a board game that you like? Scrabble. Scrabble. All right. So please choose now a category. History. History for 10. We're going to knock out the 10 point questions. The following photos show a number of ancient ruins and historic sites of Shilla found in this city. What city is it? Number 15. Gyeongju. Yeah. Good one. Good one. 10 points for you. Do you have a favorite sport? Yes. Which is? I like soccer. Excellent. All right, well, kick a category for us. Art. Arts in the middle. 20 points. Let's go to arts. The following works are done by Van Dongen, one of the fobs. He is known for using this technique in his paintings. It uses the trait of how water and oil do not mix together. Hence, number 18. Marveling. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's why it creates those random patterns. When water and oil don't mix, they get that marbling look. Excellent job. 140 is your score. Okay. You're in the lead. What's your choice? Super Korea. Super Korea for 20 points. I like this category. Hello, Super Kids. Today, I'm here to meet someone who is known for one of the greatest achievements in the whole history of Korea. It's none other than the person who invented Hangul, the Korean alphabet. Let's go find out more about King Sejong the Great. The first thing that you see when you get to the Memorial Hall are the 14 paintings that depict the life of King Sejong the Great. The pictures make it easy to see all his achievements. Can you feel how wise and caring he was? In the Hangul Room, there are ancient manuscripts on display. The 32 years that King Sejong the Great reigned as the fourth king of the Joseon Dynasty, it's all recorded as written documents as well as everything about Hangul. This is Korea's national treasure number 383 called Supyo. The water clock told the time when there were no electric clocks. The chukugi was a rain gauge that measured the amount of rain. Are you ready for the question? The fourth king of Joseon dynasty invented the revolutionary Hangul, which was easy to learn for everyone. However, at the time, the newly invented alphabet was not called Hangul, but this, literally meaning the proper sounds for the instruction of the people. Today, it is registered as a UNESCO memory of the world. What is it? Yes, number 39. Is that the right answer? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 39, have you ever traveled to another country? Yes. Where did you go? I went to the U.S. Okay, and what did you like about that? When I was in New Jersey, uh -huh. I lived beside a forest and there were many deer. Wow. 
So you saw a deer just walking around. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, now let me go to the cool scoreboard right now. I have waited so far because anything can happen at this point. But let's look at the scoreboard. 15 has 110. 18, presently in the lead, 140. Number 20, 110. Number 30, also 110. And 39, 120. Everybody's on the board. Everybody is on the board. That's exciting. Now, what's also exciting is that there are three 30-point questions, the big ones. This is where the action really starts. And nobody has used their chance, which means they can double the score of the 30-point question to make it 60 points. Anybody can win this. OK. Number 39, please choose one of the big questions. Mm, sayings. Sayings for 30 points. Does anybody want to press the buzzer down and use the chance? No. Let's go to the 30-point sayings question. The following sayings all have this word in common. What word goes in all the blanks? A cold head and a warm blank. A broken hand works, but not a broken blank. Number 30. Heart. She says heart. Is that right? If it is, she ties and would be in first place. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Two people in the lead. Two people have 140 points. A cold head and a warm heart. Of course, a broken hand works, but not a broken heart. I guess a, a broken hand can be fixed, <laughs> but not a broken heart. And love flows from the heart. Excellent job, number 30. What's your choice? Symbol. Symbol, 30 points. Once again, I ask you, does anybody want to use their chance? She's going for it. He's going for it. She's going for it. He's going for it. <laughs> okay, stop pressing it down. All right, so for you four, it's possibly a 60 point question. 18's going to wait for that last 30 point question, I'm guessing. Here is the 30 or 60 point question, the category symbol. UNESCO was established in 1947 to contribute to peace and security by encouraging countries to work together through education, science, and culture. The symbol of this organization is based on the temple in Athens of Greece the city known as the Cradle of Western Civilization. What is this temple called? Number 20. Apollo Temple. Apollo's Temple. No. Number 30. Parthenon. I'm sorry, one more time. Parthenon. If she's right, it's worth a lot of points, 60 points, she would not just be in the lead. She'd totally be in the lead. Right now she's tied. Is that the right answer? Yes, it is! Very good. Very good. The Parthenon. That symbol, the Parthenon. That's where it's from. Very good job. Boom. What a leap you made. Now, there's one 30 point question. You were tied with a gentleman who also had 140 points, who did not use his chance yet. This last one is Arang's numbers. Probably have to, oh, and of course he's going for it. He's gonna use his chance. If he gets it right, it would be a tie again. Let's go to Arang's numbers. Go ahead and put your chance up, number 18. Go ahead. Good luck to all of you. Arang's numbers. Hello, super kids. My name is Arang. I'm a mathematician, so when it comes to numbers, I do not like to lose to anybody. Starting today, I am going to give you guys a math question to answer. Are you ready for the question? I have a flower field that looks like this. I was curious about the size of this flower field, so I measured it. After finding out the size, it came out to be this. 
the top side was 6 meters. The bottom side was 11 meters long. Then, I measured the distance between the top and bottom width and I got 8 meters. So, what would the area of my flower field be in meters squared? Number 18. 68. 69. 68. As I said, if he's right, he ties a score. He was in the lead. Then number 30 tied the lead. She got a big question. If 18's right, ties again. Is that the right answer? Yes, it is! Oh my goodness! Very good. Excellent job. So what are we gonna do now? The board is com completely done. What do we do? Fret not, we have a tie-breaking question. Now, only two people can answer this question. Go ahead and take your chance down, 18. Only two can answer this question, 18 and 30, because we must break the tie. We must find the school champion. This tie-breaking question is for the two of you. Good luck. The following sayings all have this word in common. What word goes in all the blanks? A sound blank in a sound body. Out of sight, out of blank. Reading is to the blank what food is to the body. We need one word. One word goes in that blank. Number 18 and number 30, you're tied. We need to find a school champion, a sound blank in a sound body. Out of sight, out of blank. Last one, reading. Number 18. Mind. He says mind. If he's right, of course, the tie is broken and he is the school champion. If wrong, we'll give number 30 a chance. Is that the word that goes in the blank? Yes, it is! Yes, it is. Well, he's a big fan of Hellboy. He went through uh, quite a trial to get there to be the school champion. Excellent job. And we will see you in the final round. Please stay tuned, it's gonna be good. champion, very exciting tie-breaking event, which uh, well allowed you to stand here, Taeyong. So I know for sure that you like that movie Hellboy. W what do you like so much about it? Uh, exploding things and shooting at things. Okay, exploding things, shooting things, shotguns, and uh, I see, very exciting. Well, this last part is not as explosive as maybe Hellboy, but you got to shoot some things. You got to shoot some words. As a matter of fact, as long as you get that one last master word, you're, you're set. But the hurdles are there. You're going to go through a crossword puzzle, which you will choose. There are three ready for you. You'll choose one. And then as many words as you get, please, good luck with that. Don't forget that those words connect to letters of the master word. Okay, so speaking of letters, here are three letters connected to those three crossword puzzles. Check it out. Which one would you like? I would like D. D and the D crossword puzzle. Get as many as you can, and I'll give you two hints when it comes to the master word. Good luck. You play this musical instrument with two sticks. Drum. A girl in one of Anderson's stories sells this. Match. You can make sand castles here. Beach. The sky turns into this color at night. Black. Each player has 16 pieces and moves them on a checkered board. Checker. 
test. This animal carries a shell, has no legs, and moves very slowly. Snail. This rings at the beginning and at the end of class. Bell. The color of cocoa. Brown. Birds keep their eggs Next. and babies. Okay. Well, you have got three letters there. I saw them come up. Um, now we need to give you a couple hints related to that master word. Obviously, it begins with B. It's very long. And here are the hints. The first one. Arirang. Arirang. That's the first one. The second hint is on air. On air. It's not about flying. There's arirang and on air. You've got three letters, B, a C, and a T. Kind of think it out, talk it out. Not easy. The prize is big for that big word. OK, Young. I need to hear your answer or your guess, whatever it is, before the end of five seconds. Black star. What was that? Uh. Not sure? One more time, you want to make that guess? Again, I need to hear that guess before the end of five seconds. The answer is broadcasting. Broadcasting, very good. Very good job, the school champion, but didn't quite make it to the super kid status. Young, congratulations once again. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah! All right, hopefully you did too. Please join us again for another round of Super Kids next time. Bye bye! Super Kids has some very special prizes to give away. The Super Kid wins a family tour ticket to the Philippines. School champion, a digital camera. Second, third, and fourth, fifth places, MP3 players. And all contestants get a cultural gift voucher. The family tour ticket to the Philippines is sponsored by the Philippine Department of Tourism, Korea. Broadcasting, very good. Come on with Super Kids next time. Bye bye.